Hi. Hi, Madison. It's so awesome to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us today. Of course. Thank you for having me. Um, you how's your day going? Can you yeah, hear me okay? Sorry, my connection's a little dodgy. Um, yeah, you're so good. I'm good. I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm very excited to chat with you. Um, definitely the highlight of my day. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> um, well, I just want to say thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, on behalf of myself and ASU Delta Gamma, we're super, super excited to chat with you um, and get to know about you a little bit more and maybe your upcoming music. Um, so if you're ready, we will just jump into it. <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay, cool. Um, so we were wondering what is one thing or multiple things that you want people to remember you by? Oh, that's hard. Um, <laughs> my, uh, hopefully my music leaves a lasting impression on people and makes people feel good. And, um, hope that, you know, some of my words are just hope that I imprint people in a positive way and that one day people can look back and be like, she made me feel good. And, happy I don't know if I can I think that that's like the ultimate goal is just to leave a positive impact on the world yeah no I love that that's I feel like that's like everybody's goal is just to like leave some positivity um I think it's super cool you have your music to kind of do that and like use that platform for um so I think that's super cool um so what is one thing that you have learned about yourself since you became a celebrity a musician um you know, in the public eye? <laughs> um, I mean, it's definitely been like a long, weird journey. I would say that I've learned to just kind of like not let other people define me or let other people control the narrative of my own life. And um, I just try to know myself at the end of the day. And if I can go to bed at night and, you know, be happy and proud of who I am, then I feel like I shouldn't let other people control me. I think like fame is a strange thing that's hard to navigate at times. So... Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, I feel like that's a that's a really cool outlook on it. Like if you just feel like you're you're chilling with yourself, like internally, then you're doing the best you can do. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, exactly. What is the best piece of advice? Sorry. <laughs> um, what is the best piece of advice you have received over the course of your career? Uh, um, that's also really tough. I would probably say the best piece of advice is probably, like, again, just don't let other people define you. Also, like, not giving up is a really big thing because it takes a really um, long – it, it just takes a long time to, like, be successful at anything. And I think there was a lot of moments where I felt like giving up and throwing the towel in, and I'm really glad that I didn't. So um, just not giving up and staying true to who you are, probably. Yeah. No, I, I, I think that that's, like, really – important for sure especially like I mean I don't know but for you um that must be really like tough to kind of stay true to who you are especially when you're in like an industry that is super um you know like everybody wants to be the same so I think it's cool that you're you're trying yeah. to stay true to yourself no 100% I mean yeah I definitely think that it's super important to have like individuality and also just like you know be able to be confident in yourself and know who you are and know your worth and everything like that I think it's really important um okay so the next one is um all the girls in my chapter are literally um dying over your collection with morphe they're so freaking obsessed with it um so we were wondering what it was like creating your own collection with them and um like what was your inspiration when creating um your collection um yeah, I mean, I always wanted to make a makeup line for sure. Like, it was always one of my dreams and something that I always wanted to do because I used to, like, I swear this sounds really stupid, but one of the main reasons I wanted to make a makeup line was because I would literally, all the time, every time I would travel, I would bring, like, 60 palettes with me to travel. <laughs> and, like, I would use one shade from each palette. And then I was like, this is so ridiculous and it's taking up so much room in my luggage. And then I was like, I really want to create a palette that has all my favorite shades in it, something that I could just throw in my bag. That's one thing. And... I was like, I'm going to do this. And Morphe was like, we want to do it with you. And I was like, okay, amazing. And so we collabed on it. And, you know, I always wear, like, clear lip gloss. So I wanted to make sure I did that. Someone said, you dye your hair dark. Yeah, I did dye my hair really dark. But, um, <laughs> sorry. Um, but, yeah, I just, I just wanted to make something that I felt like was, you know, you could either build up or build down 
daytime, nighttime, whatever it is. Like I used my palette to do like black eyeliner, but I also use my palette to do a really soft, like peachy look, you know, it's just really versatile. Yeah, no, I think that's honestly like it did not sound stupid when he said that I literally in the same exact way I bring like seven palettes with me. And like literally. you said, use like one shade from each. And it gets to be so bulky for literally no reason. So no reason. If, if I could create my own, I think I would do that as well. So <laughs> kudos to you. Um, Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so you you're like, you're using the palette and everything as well. Like you're this is like your go to now. Literally, I'm not just saying it because it's my palette. I'm not even doing <laughs> nothing else. Like my makeup artist uses it, uses it now. It's the best thing ever. It's just you could do any look. Like, and I only kind of like a few different makeup looks. So, um, yeah. No, that's so cool. That's really really cool. Um, what was it like working with Morphe? Um, it was amazing. I mean, working with Morphe was really fun, and they're really awesome. And they let me like name all the shades and. I was really, really particular about a lot of the shades that I was going to have in the palette or, like, in the, you know, lip kit or whatever. And I I just, like, they would send me a shadow and then I would swatch it. And I'd be like, it's not pink enough or it's not bright enough or it's not pigmented enough or I want it more like this. And I, I just, like, it was a really long process. But they were really, um, they were really amazing to work with and really collaborative. Yeah. Well, you have to have exactly what you want. I totally get that. If you're going to, like, put your all into something – it should be like exactly what you want. So I think that's yeah. really cool that they were that cooperative. Um, yeah, they were amazing. Okay, so completely unrelated to makeup and Morphe. Um, what makes music so important to you? Um, I mean, music has always been like a through line in my life for sure. I was, it's always been something that has gotten me through like my hardest moments. It's always been something that I've relied on. Um, it's my way to just kind of escape. Like I have a very hyperactive brain. And so for me, it's just something I can put on and not have to think as much. And it's, it's really, really nice. Um, so, so yeah, I would just say I have always loved music and I've just always had like a really strong connection to it. And being able to make music has been like, such a pleasure and just like yeah just being able to hopefully make people feel the way that music made me feel my whole life is yeah. really important to me that's so cool i i feel like for everyone like music is like something important in their lives but i feel like for those um talented enough to make music like yourself like i can't imagine how like awesome it feels to be able to like you said like know that you are able to impact people the way that you've been impacted before by music yeah. like I can't imagine that feeling yeah it means the world to me it's like literally why I do what I do that's so awesome <laughs> um okay what was your inspo for your latest song baby which by the way I'm obsessed with <laughs> thank you I appreciate it um a lot of like 90s inspiration I mean it was also like we just wanted to make something that felt like a confidence booster and felt like an empowering song and something that you can simply just feel sexy while you listen to it. And so that was like really important for me to do. Um, so yeah, I mean, Baby was just like, we wanted to make something that made us feel good while we were listening to it and making it. And hopefully it was going to make other people feel good. And it, it has been like, I've seen a lot of people really positively reacting to it. And so I'm just really glad that it's, you know, doing for them what it did for me. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's definitely, I, I think, mission accomplished for sure. Um, I definitely feel, like, sexy and cool when I'm listening to it. It's, like, one of those I get ready listening to it songs. So yes, that's super cool. Yes, that makes me so happy. <laughs> um, okay. I'm trying to make sure I don't double ask you a question. Oh, you're um, good. Amazing. Okay. Let's see. Mm, are there any social media outlets or tips that empower you as a woman or inspire you to be the best version of yourself? Like, what would you say is like something, whether it's social media or like um, a specific content creator or something that like you feel you find inspiration from as a woman to be your best you? Um, I mean, my fans inspire me a lot. I don't know. I don't really know how to answer that because I feel like, yeah, my, my fans inspire me a lot and I, always love talking to them and like I just go on and speak to them whenever I can and like you know movies I like watching movies that are like female based and empowering and have female roles that um I think are like bosses and I don't know I mean I get inspired all the time everywhere but yeah I, I definitely like love my fans and get a lot of inspo from them yeah for sure um that's super cool um that you have like a huge network of people to inspire you as much as you're inspiring them. 
Um, is there yeah. anyone like specific, like any female role models or even male role models, role models or anyone that you feel like you've looked up to previously? Um, I mean, yeah, there's tons of people who I've looked up to. I tend to look up to people who I feel like have just like been themselves through thick and thin and who I feel like have, you know, come out of a dark place better you know people who talk about mental health I look up to a lot of people who are open and transparent and because with social media it could be very hard to do so it's not that easy um so so yeah I would just I would just say people who are you know transparent and they help people like me who have gone through things and I felt like I was alone and then I'll look at people who are like just you know they're they're being real and then I'm like okay if this person can be real this person can be open then so can I and they've been the people who have inspired me to open up about my mental health and stuff so yeah do you feel like that is like something that you want to convey in your music like that you you've been through like some tough stuff and like you are clearly yeah, like definitely. doing okay yeah definitely I want to definitely convey like the reality of mental illness and mental health in general and going through things and how serious it can be and I want to tell my story the way that I want to tell it and um, I try to have, like, mental health talks with my fans all the time, but I definitely want to speak about it in my music as much as I can. Awesome. I love that. Um, okay. So kind of, like, piggybacking on that, what advice would you give to your younger self? Um, I would probably say to my younger self, like, hold on and don't let go. And, like, I would – I always say, like, when people ask me this question, I would probably just, like, give her a hug and be like, you'll be fine, kid. Like – Try not to focus on the bad too much, but I don't know. Like, I wouldn't want to say anything because I feel like if I were to change things that I did in the past, I wouldn't be who I am today, um, yeah. which I'm proud of who I am today. So I kind of am like, I feel like the times that I wish I, like, when I look back and I'm like, oh, that, that could have went my life without that have happened to me. But, like, you know, I think that they, traumatic stuff or, like, bad stuff helps you as a person and makes you um better in some way so I I, I don't know I, I would probably just give her a big hug and tell her she's not alone yeah no I think that's so awesome I totally agree I feel like um you wouldn't want to like alter like the results that you've been um like working so hard toward even though there's been like the downs I feel like everybody like grows through what you go through I think um yeah so. exactly I like tweeted that the other day like everyone's going through life silently screaming you just don't know it so like try oh, not to feel that. too isolated and too alone yeah. yes <laughs> retweet <laughs> <laughs> um okay um sorry I've been jumping around to all the questions so I'm just reading through them <laughs> okay so similar kind of question but not to your younger self, but, like, what um, advice, if any, do you have for teenage girls um, growing up in this society and, like, with social media and all that? Um, I mean, I could go on a rant forever about how many, much advice I have for them, but I would just say, like, main points is, like, please don't compare yourself to anyone because you have no idea what people have going on behind closed doors, and it's very easy to make someone's life look absolutely perfect on social media, so don't, if your life isn't perfect, don't compare yourself because no one's life is even though people love to pretend it is um don't compare yourself know your worth don't let anyone disrespect you and um you know just like i have so many things i can say i can go on and on like if you if you feel like something's a big deal you're allowed to make a big deal out of it and you don't have to feel guilty for that um if you don't feel heard or seen or welcomed or listen to in a room you have every right to get up and get out um there's just a lot of like I was, there's a lot of little things that I would just want you know younger girls to have in the back of their heads that I feel like would have helped me a lot at a younger age and I hope that they can listen and hopefully do the same yeah um I I really like what you said about like you know making sure that you know whatever it is that you're going through it's not like you're not being over dramatic or like overzealous about something like if you're feeling it like you're feeling it you're okay to that's say that's valid yeah 100 yeah, i definitely think like always valid. yeah i definitely think like in college especially i mean also in high school but um i think it's like this stereotype that like you can be like over dramatic especially as a female like um you know if you're if you're feeling something and other people don't see it the way that you do like you're being over dramatic and yeah. petty and whatever it is but I think like it's important to recognize like whatever you're feeling you're feeling for a reason so like yeah no for real I mean as women we get called crazy for reacting to exactly men 
treating us like trash or like someone blatantly disrespecting us and like I'm just kind of tired of that being thrown around all the time because it's not okay and you're like in ev like I just hate when I'll even like I'll, I've done it for example if I'm like somewhere that I genuinely feel uncomfortable or like I just I'm just not feeling like I'm I don't know I don't know how to explain it but if I'm not feeling 100% I like get up and I'm like hey I'm gonna go I don't feel like this is for me. I don't like the conversation that's going on. I don't like the jokes that are being made, whatever it might be. Like, I can just be like, okay, I'm leaving. And then I walk away. And like, I know for a fact that people in that room are like, she's crazy. Why'd she do that? And it's like, okay, well, maybe you might think I'm crazy. But I, as like, as someone who protects myself, like, I'm going to put my boundaries up. And I'm going to make sure that I'm protecting my heart and my mind. And if something feels off to me, and I don't like stuff that's being said, I'm not going to sit there and just like, take it yeah. and I to take it's taken a long time for me to get there I mean it, for, for a very long time I took a lot of shit from people I sat in rooms that jokes were made that made me uncomfortable or people were doing things whatever I can go on and on but like I now am very grateful that I finally have learned my worth and then I'm like okay well I don't really care if you guys make fun of me or call me crazy like this isn't for me I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna go so nice meeting you you know yeah, absolutely. And I think like, like I was saying with high school and college, I feel like that's such an important message, like that coming from you, because I think a lot of, um, I don't want to just say females, because I'm sure there are males as well who experience like, this 100%. Feeling of not, you know, but um, yeah. like, I feel like that's definitely like, there's been a lot of rooms that I've been in that I've been uncomfortable. And I've wanted to, you know, say like, I'm uncomfortable, I don't want to be here, yeah. or this isn't for me or whatever. Um, and I think like, it does take a lot of experience being uncomfortable to be comfortable with saying something. And 100%. so I feel like a lot of people are not aware of that and um, choose to just sit and like let things happen rather than standing up for themselves or being confident and self-aware and being like, this is not for me. I'm out. Yeah. And that's, and that's a hundred percent fine. If it's like, you don't have the confidence to stand up for yourself or you don't have the confidence to tell somebody no, or you don't have the confidence to be like, Hey guys, maybe don't make jokes like that around me. Don't talk about this like that, whatever. Like, that's fine if it takes you time but like you should just practice that because you have to know that you are worthy of like being in rooms that are respected you're respected and that your boundaries are respected and that if you're there being disrespected and a lot of the times I think especially what happens with girls and people who are in you know high school college like you said it's like you want people to like you it's human nature that you want people to like you and so it can be a bit intimidating when you get up in a room and you go, hey, you guys are a bunch of assholes and you guys are talking a bunch of shit on this or that and I don't really like it and I don't want to be here and then I leave and then you get scared. You're like, oh my God, they're going to think I'm crazy. And it's like, you have to come to a place within yourself. I sound like I'm like preachy right now, but you have to come to a place within yourself that you're just like, I don't care what these people think about me because this is not, these are not my people. Like these are not people that I want to be friends with. You know what I mean? Like you're going to find people who respect you and love you and like, I don't know. Okay. Rant over. Yeah. No, literally, I mean, honestly, it's the truth. And like, that's why everyone is here to talk to you and like hear from you is because I think like you are a big um, role model for a lot of women and, and men out there. And I think like, it's super important, especially with your upcoming album. Like um, I think that's like the message is like to know, you know, be comfortable and like self-aware and like recognize that you, you are your own person. You can make your own decisions. Um, and like to be confident in what you say and how you act. And I think it's cool that everyone watching, I mean, like literally every comment is like preach, like, yes, like everybody is definitely on board. So I'm, I'm very lot. appreciative that you um, like feel that way and like are sharing with us today. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, okay. Let me see if there's any other questions on here. Um. Okay, what is one thing that you've always wanted to do, but felt like you couldn't? Oh, gosh. Um, if anything. I mean, after the conversation we're, we've been having, <laughs> it no seems idea. like you are so confident and um, boss that you can do whatever you put your mind to. So. Oh, my God. Did you lose me? Am I back? Am I here? What's happening? <laughs> You're back. You're good. Okay. <laughs> um, I heard confident mm -mm, uh, mm, that's all I heard <laughs> <laughs> okay I said like um I mean like there if, if there's anything that you felt like you couldn't do because after what we've been talking about it seems like you're so confident and like a boss ass babe that you know anything you put your mind to you can 
pretty much do. So if there's nothing you feel like you could Thank you. Yeah. Um, I mean, I definitely don't think I can skydive. <laughs> I think that scares me. I don't know. Okay. We love I don't know. That. Yeah, that's like my only answer. I try to like push myself and do anything like, I don't know, in, in regards of my real life, but like okay. things like that scare yeah. the shit out of me. So okay. we, we got it noted. No skydiving. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there anything that you feel like within like the industry that you like, maybe there was like a, a type of like genre or something you want to explore that you know, you felt like wasn't your realm or like anything like that that you felt like you No, I try not to like box myself in. I try to just do whatever feels right, honestly, and like just do my thing. And I try not to restrict myself too much because I feel like sometimes the best stuff comes from like stepping out of your box. Right. Yeah. Heck yeah. Okay, wait, now you're frozen. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay, cool. Yes, you're all good. Sorry. Um, okay. So that's all the questions that we have for you. Um, is there, I mean, I don't really know what you would ask me, but is there no, anything I else you want to? Thank you. You're amazing. I see all your friends commenting. Like, love you, Sid. You're killing it, Sid. <laughs> so you're killing it. Love you. you. It was so nice to meet you. Hopefully we can meet in person someday. Yes. So we can get down there. And yes. shout out to all your friends who are so cute and sweet who are hyping you up. I love that so much. <laughs> Um, but yeah, thank you. You're awesome. So nice talking to you. And no, thank to you. Who joined. Shout out to Delta Gamma. I don't know. I don't know the like hand sign that you guys uh, yeah. maybe do. <laughs> yeah, I figure yeah. a lot of. I don't know. I don't know anything about college life. Ignore me, please. Okay. Well, <laughs> thank you. And I'll no, see you thank soon. You. Yeah. Thank you so Love much. You, queen. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>